Okay, guys, um, this is my Icky Guy A20. It's a 20 by 40 lathe. Um, it's an engine lathe. Excellent machine. Um, this actually has a ball screw for threading, but uh, that really has nothing to do with this part. It's a 20 inch swing machine. Um, I have a Mimic model number UT6 mounted on the back side of the tailstock. I made up a bracket to mount a, a large die grinder. It's a cheapie from Harbor Freight. Works good. Got a router bit in it, 45 degree router bit. Um, let's see here. I, uh, the customer had given me this block right here and he wanted me to copy it and um, at first I tried running the uh, the tracer along this here but um, it was digging into the paint a little bit so what I did is I made a metal pattern and you can see the pattern over here on the back side of the lathe um, this is the pattern right here and uh, if I put this right behind there, you can kind of see how it matches up. Now what's key to this is um, that that cutter has basically a, a 90 degree angle on it. And the follower has to have a 90 degree angle on it also. In other words, the follower has to kind of be, um, or the stylus, I would say. That's what they call it, the stylus. Otherwise, uh, the trace will come out different than the, uh, than the actual cut. Um, a 60-degree cutter would have been ideal, um, but this is a 90, and it works. I mean, for all intents and purposes, I showed them. I showed him a couple of samples. He was happy with them. A couple of the angles in here. I don't know if you can see from the end. This, let's see here. How do I do this with one hand? This angle here is probably, it's a little bit steeper than a 45 on the original. Um, I'm So I made it about, it's a, it's a 45 now. And you can see over here, on this radius this is a little steep too but it was close enough where he was happy with it and uh, so now let me let me uh, let me run one for you and uh, I got a little routine going here fire up the lathe Fire that up. And away we go. The other thing that's nice about this lathe, and I'm not sure if you can hear me over the uh, the router, I can uh, change the uh, feed on the fly. Like right now, I got this set at uh, 14 thousandths per revolution. But as the cuts get lighter, I can actually speed it up. I can double that speed. So here I go. I'm going to double that speed. It just, watch, when I do this, it just kind of stops. There we go. Now I'm double the speed. For the lighter cuts, there's no need for me to go that slow. And then as it, as it comes around, it's going to get to a deeper part again. When it starts digging in, I'll shift it back into the other gear. Now, now I just slowed it down again. Speeds up the process pretty well. Um, this is 
kind of a deeper cut here. And the cut's going to get a little lighter again. Uh, so now the cut's getting lighter. I don't know if you can see the rate at which that's turning. So now I can turn this, pop it into that gear, and it speeds it up. It's a pretty awesome setup. Bring this back to the beginning. And there we go. If you got any questions, uh, leave a comment. Um, this was kind of a pain in the butt to set up, and I'm not crazy about getting sawdust all over all over my lathe, but uh, this is a pretty good paying job for the setup. It took me a long time to set it up, and I really haven't messed with this tracer since I got it. Um, so, I mean, if you if you count setup time, I'm really not making that much money. But now that I'm running parts, I'm making good money. So, uh, so that's it. This is a Mimic model UT6. They still make these. Um, on my uh, Ikigai A20 20 inch swing lathe it's a uh, it's a 10 horsepower lathe I mean this thing chews through metal like you wouldn't believe um, but right now I'm doing wood on it hey whatever it takes to pay the bills all right thanks for watching if you like it give me a give me a thumbs up or subscribe thanks bye bye